Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today, finally, finally, we're gonna react to episode 12 of Kate Katsuyoku Teru, or like the English name, Run with the Wind. Wow, these three weeks were so long, it felt. I really missed the show. Like, I really, really missed the show. These three weeks felt really long. But luckily, the OST got released, so I could like survive these three weeks while listening to the OST because the OST and the show are really good. I've been saying that like almost every episode. So I was really happy when the OSTs came out. So please go check it out if you haven't already. Um, there's some like a video on YouTube with the full, full OSD like the um, both discs. So please go listen to it if you haven't already. So yeah, three weeks ago we got actually like we got more like focused on Shindo's story. Um, and I really love that character, like she does an ama amazing character and we ended the episode where they were at the track meet and they met with Sakaki again after a while and yeah, they clashed a little bit. So I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen, so let's hop right into the episode and see what happens. So let's go! Okay guys, I'm ready, so I'm gonna start the episode in 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, this, okay, so this already start of the track meet. Is everyone participating? I didn't see any, everyone, so... This is the new opening! Oh! Oh damn, I didn't know we already get the new opening! Okay, we see every member. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we see Sagaki, Fujioka. And everyone. Ooh. Ooh, look at that imagery. Like he got out of the tunnel and now he's running, or like everyone's running. Oh, this is a nice song. Oh. Oh, yeah, that imagery. Like in the first episode. Yeah, that was really a good opening. Like also at the beginning of the opening you could see like everyone's individuality, which I really really like in the show. So I'm really glad they pointed it out in the opening as well. Okay, I don't... Oh, Prince! Oh, I missed everyone so much. <laughs> it feels like... I have the feeling as if I haven't met my friends in like three weeks. <laughs> this is the same feeling I have right now. Okay, so Musa is not running and the twins aren't either. Okay. Summer prank. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Is it the same guy from the like first track meet we saw? Okay, so they're they're like doing teamwork. 
which is really nice. They had like a strategy planned. Ooh, okay. <laughs> See that eye contact? Ooh. Okay. This is really nice that they're like including a certain strategy into like the track meets right now. Like they didn't do that like in earlier track meets, but <laughs> yes. Oh, he just had heard like Heidi's words, even though Heidi wasn't there. Oh yeah, that guy, that guy was also watching. He looked a bit freaky in the last episode though. Ooh, he's running ahead. Ooh, look at this shot, yes! Wow. Wow, this is awesome. Wait, was it that personal record maybe? Ooh, he's going against Sakaki. Ooh, yes! I hope Haiji isn't pushing himself too much though. Oh, okay, okay. So he finished without any problems. Okay, but... Maybe maybe I overestimated Sakaki a little bit then. If Haiji was, like, faster than him. Ooh, yes! Ooh. Oh, wait, do they have... Was it enough? I don't... Yes! Yes! <laughs> wait, did they get the official record? Did I high five? High five! Oh, okay. That's also good. <laughs> oh my god! Even Kakeru! Though they're so cute! <laughs> oh. Even Kakeru went in for the hug. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's that guy again. <laughs> oh. oh no, he's digging into his past again. I don't trust that guy. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, arms, arms. <laughs> Training cab. <laughs> Why is Heidi driving again? lost from a <laughs> he lost to a dog <laughs> These three weeks were worth the wait. <laughs> True. I mean, like, we haven't seen a coach do much yet. <laughs> Prince is already out. Well, yeah, it is a training camp after all, so... Ooh, that's pretty. I really miss this feeling though. This this feel good.
Musa's gone. Yeah. That's Shindo. These two are kind of like the best buddies. I mean, those two are always together and always try to help each other out. Shinda Musa, of course. Wait, what is Kakura putting on this food? <laughs> All that mayonnaise? <laughs> It's also good. I don't know, I'm sure there's more behind Sakaki's character. I mean, until now he just comes over like a jerk, but I'm sure there must be like more to his character than just that. Go hygiene. Oh, this shot's beautiful. But I guess like Haiji always manages to find the right words to say to Kakeru when he's feeling uneasy. I mean, just with these few words, he managed to calm Kakeru down or like clear his mind up a little bit. Oh, oh I love this so much. You see? Oh shit.
Whoa, I haven't seen Kaku that pissed off before. Oh, but the new ending as well. Oh, even though I'm sad that I can't hear the last ending anymore, like the previous ending was really, really good. Feeling-wise, this is quite similar to the previous one, I think. Oh, beautiful. Oh, everyone's shadows like this. <sighs> okay, so it was the 12th episode of Rome with the Wind. Um, I really liked the ending. It was, I don't. I don't like it as much as the first one. Like the first ending is also a song that I've just put on my playlist and just have been listening to like for weeks already. Um, I, I really really love the first ending. So I don't like this ending as much as the previous one. But the, I also thought this this ending was really good. Like feeling wise, it was quite similar. So I really like this one as well. But going back to the episode, like I said, I really miss the series. Like the feeling of the series, it just always gives me a really. It always brings me in a really good mood. I mean, everyone is now at the training camp. It's like the first time we actually see them go to a training camp. Before they still had the track meet. And I think Yuki and Shindo got their official records, I think. They're, it's just King, Niko-chan and Prince who still needs to get the official records. But aside from then, everyone will have... The rest already um, achieved their official records. So it's going into a good direction, I guess. But this was really like achieved with like teamwork because I think it was Yuki that came up with a whole strategy to how to maintain the right pace at the right moment. So I really liked that. But like beforehand was just about running and just run as fast as you can, like maintain your own best pace possible. But this time they included like a whole strategy and it worked out in the end because Yuki and Shindo um, got the official record and maybe that wasn't possible if they didn't work together like that. So I really like that they did it this time. And also I was surprised that Haiji like outran um, Sakaki. I mean they ran alongside each other and in the end Haiji just left Sakaki behind. So I don't know, maybe I overestimated Sakaki a little bit, maybe Sakaki held in a little bit, maybe he, he could go faster. But like at the end of the episode we saw the clash between like both teams there's already like a lot of tension going on between Sakaki and Kakeru and his crew, but this time he Sakaki really rubbed Kakeru in the wrong way. He has been doing that a lot of times already, but this time he just went a bit too far. I mean, Kakeru is now really enjoying running and also running alongside 
the rest of the team, so Sakaki really went into that. So I really understand why Kakeru got pissed. Because like for the rest of the teams, those provocations m may not mean much. Um, they don't know Sakaki, like they don't have any history with him. I mean like Sakaki was saying all those things and the rest of the team were like, wait, what? What is he saying? But only Kakeru understands what Sakaki is saying because of the history they have. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how that ended because they didn't show what actually happened. And I'm sure there must be like some kind of plot twist there. Um, or Kakeru actually punished Sakaki, that's also possible. Even though I doubt that he really did that. But yeah, another beautiful episode, there were a lot of beautiful shots. I mean like around the lake where they were running. I really especially like the part where Kakeru was running together with Haiji, like there was a part where they were running together just with the two of them and the rest were like running a little bit behind them and Haiji was just trying to calm down Kakeru and it really worked at that time if like the other team weren't like interfering like that or just being annoying but that shot was really beautiful, I really liked that and that also made me realize how much I missed this uh, series so much so I'm really glad that like the whole hiatus or break is over and we can just enjoy this amazing series again like upcoming weeks. One thing I must say though, next week I'll be on a short trip to London so I'm probably gonna be late with this the next reaction a little bit. Um, I may do my reaction a couple of days later probably so um, I'll probably do my reaction when I get back home and um, then as quick as possible because of course I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen next so I'll try to react to it as much as possible when I get back so please be patient and please look forward to my reaction and don't worry if I'm a little bit late with the reactions so that was my reaction for this episode I hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and if you're curious to see my own reaction videos feel free to check out my channel so thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time bye bye